Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Valerie and I like to review products for you guys and just make random YouTube videos. So um, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. I'm sending you good vibes. And today we're going to do a really fun video. It's going to be another hair tutorial. Um, well, hair review product, hair product review. Mm. I'm going to be reviewing the Kiposi um, Pro Curling Wand. This one's really exciting because I've never tried a tool like this and I really like experimenting with my hair now. Um, so it's going to be fun. So go ahead, grab a drink, grab a snacky, and let's get started on doing our hair. So I have a lot of hair, so I know that this video is going to take me forever because it's going to take me a really long time to curl my hair. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. Chat with me. Let's be best friends. You can also add me on Instagram and feel free to message me anytime. I always reply. And um, yeah, let's get started. Let me show you what I got. And also, can we admire my adorable little microphone it's so cute so this is from kiposi it's super super cute i think i'm pronouncing it right but i might not be um and i got this on amazon so i'm gonna link it down below and this is um how much i paid for it and the name on amazon and the packaging is super cute let's open her up okay we've got some instructions and this is the curling wand so this is gonna be really interesting for me because i've never tried a wand this thin uh it's gonna take me forever but it's gonna be really fun because i've always wanted those really tiny really tight curls um and this is gonna be really fun so it comes with a glove as well a heat protection glove which i'm absolutely gonna need i am so clumsy um and that's all that's all it comes with and it looks pretty nice it's like pink and black it says kiposi i'm gonna plug this in and i'm gonna let this bad boy heat up okay it's finished heating up now and basically this is like um to go higher in temperature lower temperature this is to turn on and then it has a lock button which is pretty cool so that you can lock in the temperature and you won't accidentally press it um which i feel like all curlers should have because that always happens to me so I'm going to brush my hair out and I'm going to use some heat protectant, of course. This is the one that I always use. I find that this one works pretty well. And I'm going to put a lot of heat protectant all over to ensure I don't damage my hair. I'm going to be sectioning my hair because I usually never section my hair when I curl it or when I do anything, honestly. But I feel like it's going to be a good idea to section my hair for this because like it's gonna be really hard should I use okay I'm gonna use the glove because I am clumsy how do we do this oh. which way do I <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing I think I'm supposed to curl that way oh my god can you tell I don't know what I'm doing but I feel like this makes sense you know what I mean I think that makes sense but I don't know how long do I leave it on? I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. How am I gonna curl like, like close to my head? Okay, I'm trying my best right now, okay? Like, don't judge me right now. <laughs> I'm sure it's not their fault. It's my fault because I do not know how to curl hair. I'm gonna practice off camera and I will come back because this is not right. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it a bit more. I have a bit of a mess on this side. <laughs> Just please ignore that. But I have managed to make this beautiful curl. Look how bouncy it is. So the idea would be to be able to make them all like this, but okay, let's just continue. 
I mean, it's doing something. I'm also just like the clumsiest person ever. It makes them so tight too. Like these are more loose than these are. Oh my God. Why is this happening? They're gonna be like completely different, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. This is, this is not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I'm the kind of person that does not give up and I am not giving up on this. I'm not giving up. <laughs> so I have continued practicing and I'm getting better. Look at this. This is a beauty. This is exactly what I was looking for. And so I'm getting better. So I think that a lot of it has to do with like the sections. I shouldn't take sections that are too small. And then also I figured out that if you um, kind of twist your hair like this, it makes it way easier. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. And it's also really important to take it at an angle like this. I feel like the bottom layer is just way harder than the top layers of your head. So there's that. But yeah, girls, never give up. Just keep practicing, keep trying. And we're gonna do just that. And I'm using my wand at around, I think, 380 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's like the perfect heat temperature because it um, curls your hair really quick but it doesn't feel like it's too too hot um, maybe because it's also so small it doesn't feel too hot so I mean now it's looking more you know it's looking better I think that it's just a matter of patience but these on this side did turn out way too tight and I don't know what I did wrong so we're just gonna keep practicing How am I managing to do all the curls differently? I don't know. Okay, girls so I didn't give up and this is the finished result it did take me like an hour and a half or two hours it took me a really long time it was it, it's time-consuming and there's definitely a bit of a learning curve um, but all in all it works amazing I mean it does what it's supposed to do it's great quality um, I love that you're able to um, put in the settings that you want because I saw that some of them don't have the display like you just get whatever temperature I don't know um, and I like the lock feature so it works great um, I'm really happy with that but it was really hard and it's not perfect I think they ended up way too tight um, I wanted them to be a bit longer but I mean it's an interesting change I don't know and I did end up with some strands that are a bit too long but all in all it does what it's supposed to do and it still looks pretty cool it's like a really big change from my usual look so what i did was um when i was done curling i just uh by hand separated some of the strands to make it a bit fluffier i um, mean so it doesn't look so like you know stiff um, and now it's really like fluffy and voluminous and I added some oil. I used this hair oil. I added some of this to make it a bit shinier and I did try to go over these like longer pieces to make them shorter but they just won't go shorter. I don't know what it is but it still looks really cute you guys and um, yeah I'll continue practicing with this when I have more time and hopefully I will get it right one day. <laughs>
um, but it's awesome and I did see some girls that managed to do them longer so I think it's just a matter of practicing um, so I will link this down below if you want to try it out the Kaposi one and um, I'm also gonna be doing giveaway with them so if you guys are interested in getting one of these free make sure to follow me on Instagram we're gonna have a giveaway go check out the post and all you need to do is enter tag a few friends follow me in Kaposi and you can win one of these um, so that's really fun and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!